I'm Katie Blake, and this week on Encore TV. It's one of those things of maybe if you had gone to the doctor or checked up before, you never know, really. Encore families reunite for another heart walk. Find out why this year was extra meaningful for some members of our team. But first, a look at the forecast for the next few days. Well, the big player in our weather setup for this week was the cold front that moved through Texas late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. This did produce some severe weather across parts of the deep south on Tuesday, but for Texas, this was really just a temperature dropping front, and we are feeling that change as of Wednesday as a colder air mass has moved into the Lone Star State. So here's what the next few days look like across Encore Service Territory. Out west toward the Permian Basin, 47 and mostly sunny on Wednesday, but look at these temperatures. Temperatures a quick rebound back into the low 70s by Friday. Down I-35 in Round Rock, chilly and mostly sunny on Wednesday, still in the mid 50s on Thursday with a few more clouds. Then overcast with some isolated rain on Friday with highs getting closer to 70 degrees. East Texas and Tyler, a cold but sunny day on Wednesday. A few more clouds will be around on Thursday and then cloudy skies with a few isolated showers Friday with highs back in the mid 60s. Over in the Metroplex, it's going to be a chilly and sunny day Wednesday. Still chilly on Thursday with some more clouds around and then mostly cloudy with a high near 61 on Friday. Very similar story farther north toward Wichita Falls. 40s on Wednesday, but back in the mid 60s with overcast skies by the end of the work week. That does it for your weather outlook. Now a look at how Family Connections took center stage at this year's Heart Walk. I'm here today because the Heart Walk is really important to me and my family. I've experienced some heart issues in the past. I had a stroke in 2008, and then last year in 2021, I had a heart attack. We've always come to the Heart Walk several years, but this year is a little bit different from us. My father-in-law actually passed away in 2020, and so it took us a little bit to be able to come back and, and do this event with Encore, but this year we're walking for him. Last year when I had my heart attack, I was actually on the job. I was at the office. I thought, hmm, I don't feel right. My coworkers knew that I was in distress and that I needed medical attention. They were fast acting. They got me an ambulance and they were able to get me the care that I needed quickly. It was about two years ago. You know, he really didn't have any signs or anything like that. It literally was just something that, uh, you know, he was having back pain one day and, you know, he had some heart failure and that was it. I mean, it was like one day to the next and it was something that he had no idea, you know. Well, I did a heart walk for the one just for my mom and the different families around us because I have a lot of coworkers that are within the Heart Walk, but we mainly do the Heart Walk to help bring awareness and just to support the American Heart Association. a lot of people will think about it until it actually happens to them, right? So for us, it wasn't something that we thought about. It's something that happens to other people. And then once that happened, we've been way more focused on like what we need to do for our health and what to look out for and things like that. Thankfully, the education that my coworkers had, our safety that Encore provides, the training that Encore offers. And thanks to my coworkers, I'm here today and I can educate others on what to do if you're in that type of situation. We're just really looking forward to walking this year and we actually have someone to walk for and you know, we're, we love him so much and we're really hoping to uh, continue to spread awareness so that no family has to go through this either. That's all we have time for this week. Be sure to keep an eye on the wire and the internet for more company news.